Hey guys, welcome back. I wanted to begin today's video with these lovely photos of Catherine, Duchess of Cambridge, attending the Lady Singles Finals at Wimbledon. Can we just take a moment to note on how incredibly radiant she looks in her bespoke yellow Roxanda dress? Catherine first wore the dress during the Caribbean tour when they landed in Jamaica. I love this dress on Catherine. The color makes her skin glow and she just looks great. So I thought we would just take a moment and appreciate the gorgeous yellow color and the dress and just everything overall. Now, if you were wondering what is up with that purple and green bow she's wearing, um, Catherine wears it in her capacity as patron of the All English Lawn and Tennis Club, a role that she has held now for six years after the Queen passed it on to her in 2016. Prior to that, the Majest Her Majesty held the position for 64 years. Wow, that's incredible. Now, I guess we should move on to what I'm here to actually discuss. And it's these ridiculous photos that have been released that people are claiming are Harry and Meghan and their son in Jackson Hole, Wyoming during the 4th of July. I personally don't think it's Harry and Meghan. And here's the thing. When you constantly deceive the public and play stupid PR games and lie, then your every move is going to be questioned and scrutinized. And Harry and Meghan are known to be the Duke and Duchess of misinformation. These photos that have been published claiming to be the ex-royals with their alleged son hasn't been confirmed or denied by Harry and Meghan's team. But some pointers I wanted to make. Who knew Harry's arm got so hairy? His ears poke out more? And Meghan's got some sort of diet secret that has made her go from looking like a mush marshmallow at the Platinum Jubilee to a praying mantis with smaller feet and a longer torso? I'm supposed to believe that Megan, who loves the cameras and will shove her way in front of any camera, is suddenly all too shy to show her face? But is willing to expose her alleged child's face, the one that she's demanding so much privacy for? It doesn't make sense. Even their interaction as a family doesn't feel very family-like when you look at those pictures, but more like strangers. Even the little boy allegedly known as Archie in these photos doesn't seem interested in the two people who are supposed to be Harry and Meghan. And why are they never seen out and about as a family of four, ever? You would think for Harry complaint, calling himself a girl dad, he would want to, I don't know, maybe have his daughter around? Who knows? I find it quite interesting and maybe even laughable that Harry claims the UK isn't safe for him and his family but is totally fine with the idea of sitting on a curb in the middle of a crowd in a country that has had multiple shooting sprees in the past few weeks, which is kind of why I believe that isn't Harry either. I don't think he would have the balls or the guts to put himself in that kind of danger. I don't know. But... It's also my opinion that this whole entire situation was just a crappy PR stunt set up by their paymasters to keep them relevant. And after the dimwit and his mattress actress wife were booed at the Platinum Jubilee, they are using the whole 
loving family with two children scenario to gain public sympathy, in my opinion. Also, does anyone else think that it is utterly hilarious that they didn't even think through the optics and repercussions Harry might face by sending his stunt double to pose as a ex-British royal at a parade celebrating America's independence from Britain? I mean, what a joke, right? Celebrating U.S. independence all while they insist on using their British royal titles. Yeah, I know. Ridiculous, right? What an absolute circus. Seriously, everything about the Duke and Duchess of Squats is always so contrived and staged. Like, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Do you guys think that the, that was actually them or not? And what is their end game with all of this trickery? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below and I'll catch you in the next video. Take care. Bye.